Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Gonsusan campaign. We pick things up for episode 29 from turn 134 in the spring season of 217. So as we hop back in, um, I see that we're getting siege back in the capital. That's a oh, former capital, I guess. No, we're going to continue to shift the capital around uh, if we have a chance in the future. Send these rebels to their graves. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, I do want to upgrade, but money's a little tight, as you can see. So aside from that, I think we moved almost everyone. So we could go west, uh, which is a viable strategy, or maybe we can take the... Oh, the mountain pass will be right here. Okay. I'm thinking we take the mountain pass instead of go through their capital. It's going to be quicker. We can pull the way and move. Okay, so everyone has moved. Any money need to be spent here, perhaps? Nope. Maybe you can... Uh, she can't, because no one willing to get discredit for faction, which is what we need. Um, discredit character, we kind of already done. It's just not going to work. So, a bit unfortunate. We can't do much with her. I'm just gonna stash some points on her, just keep her here for a little bit. She might become useful in the future. That's gonna be the hope. And yeah, army's moving. I guess we'll focus on income first. So I'm gonna build this up. Hmm, still the awkward reform situation. That can be said for pretty much most of our buildings. It's gonna be a reform issue pretty much everywhere. All right, that's all the money. Let's continue. And once again, the Kingdom of Shuhan is asking, please take us in. We had enough, but uh, we'll keep fighting them. Uh. And the other kingdom is also begging for peace. And obviously still no. And Liu Dai is here to suicide. Go for it. Action destroyed. Oh no, maybe not. It's getting back up. Oh no, he's gone. Ooh, left us a jade horse. Alrighty, summer turn. We're getting hit with supplies. Hilda is wiped. Xiao Chao died. Oh no, Xiao Chao, the son came of age of the former leader. So Xiao Chao is no longer faction leader. Not gonna change very much. I don't think we're taking any offensive approach over there. We do have these two armies that pop back up. I think they were on ambush. I could go hunt them down, I guess. Um, we only need one army for the pass. And then I guess we'll send the other one back. I'll take care of the farthest one first. And then he'll be technically trapped here, in between us. Hmm... It's fine. We got the garrison to give us some number advantage in case they want to come back and fight us. It's just the all cavalry army appears to be, you know, slightly weaker and all that. I am... gonna release her. Okay, so the level up was what I was hoping for, because now, first we'll level him up. First we get 5% extra replenishment, but at least we can get our faction unique unit on him. This army is definitely a little on the weak side. I mean, it's our son. Give him some good stuff. Yeah, move into this, and then the garrison will help us give us the numbers where we can fend off anyone. And plus, we got more armies coming. Okay, 
，向前进军。行动如一，我军必胜。Strong Yan's group. Hmm, we can't reach there. 夏日阳光之下。I think she does have reach. It's just we couldn't reach there, so maybe we take this target next turn instead. I'm gonna hide in case there's more armies by Zhang Yan. His is a little bit tough to deal with. The army here disappeared. Oh, they're sailing. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. That's gonna be a big annoyance because they could land anywhere. Oh, but at least I know they're not. Staying around to ambush us, so we can move up a little. It looks like we can reach them. I'm gonna trust that. Okay, good. Okay, Coron has a few armies around. We're just gonna push into that. I might ambush to make them go back. Cause they see this, they might turn around. Okay, we're just playing setup here. They're still trapped here, not suiciding. Cause they, they should be suiciding to end the faction. I don't know why they're not. I'm still sending them back. Maybe they can go clean that up later. Mm, he does have reach, so that's good. Alright, I'm supposed to go help them out. I don't think we delegate that well. But against these... Yeah, these half armies, we should be fine. No one has siege weapons. Oh, he does. Mm. I think Badong is still going to be fine. Alright, Li Ru. Jian Yun is heir. What? Okay, if we beat him up a little, maybe. 67, though. It's kind of old. I need to first see. I don't see anyone, so. We will march, actually. And then we'll grab that next turn. And then I think we're just gonna go north. We're not interested in picking up hard targets, right? We're just gonna curve our way up towards Shuofang. That'll be our strike force. Huh. Uh, let's rest up a turn. We've been having a pretty I mean plus there's no siege weapons they would likely siege and they'll join my question is do I want to go north now like we could wipe certain factions out so they don't send anything at us and wipe them out quickly but then there's also the feeling where like I don't really need to cross anytime soon I have one two three four five six Six going that way. But I also have a plenty going this way. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um and maybe maybe I should take the northern push. Do they have garrison? No, they don't have any. Okay. So we'll take Hone. Should be a pretty free pickup. I guess we are going to get beachhead in the north. Apparently, gets along with our wife.
All right, we're gonna use her for the cavalry portion. So the Qiang, the Qiang hunter, we're gonna keep. We're gonna have just good quality delegate value units, I guess. Probably the easiest approach we can take here in the north. The thing is, like Yuan Shao's or Yuan Tan's armies are in the south, so he can't actually defend. He sent everyone over there. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm gonna go with my unique one. I could opt for like maybe two melee, but maybe that's pointless. The bronze one, I think, is on cooldown. Kind of out of good stuff. He should lead, though. He has reach and he has flexibility. Alright, this way we can start expanding our northern efforts a little bit quicker. They're healing. I mean, we're just a slow force. I'm gonna have him lead then. Better capture chance. No, no, no. I mean, same thing. We're just edge of their circle. They're healing. We might be able to catch them with a delegate in the river if they go close to us next turn. We'll see how that goes. And there's really no one joining us, so I guess we can't do much there. 19k is plenty of money, though. Five more turns till we can change the capital again. And I think we will, just to get more Emperor Seed bonus on everywhere. And I guess we'll focus on where it's making us the most money first. Yeah, the level 5 upgrade for the State Workshop definitely is very helpful. Actually... Yeah, it's still more money. The Pine Variants are... Not that good. Neither one stands out that much. Hmm. Not in a rush to upgrade it. Okay, we have no money left. And that's pretty much where we are going to be at, I think, with our army. So let's continue and see what happens. <laughs> Every single turn. <laughs> They give us abdicate emperor. But this is wrong. Like the way they're saying it, this is misphrased. This is this needs to be changed. They're giving us the abdication emperor, I think. Right, see it says here, Kingdom of Shuhan concedes to us abdicate. That's the, what they're offering. But the message here doesn't match. So this is this is a bug. Gotta report this. Oh, Guo Di Wang was a spy. How? I double checked that her faction... Oh, right. We said... Right. We knew she was a spy, but we knew that she was not going to hurt us because her faction is going to get destroyed by us. But then we didn't destroy her faction because her faction didn't have suicide into us. I can't employ her. I can't release her as a counter spy. That way I get to keep her. Right. She probably tried to perform an action and got caught. So, so she'll will, she will eventually return to us. Just the army that we sent her out on is kind of waiting for another unit now. <gasps> yes. 67 will still take you. I mean, that's our other spy. Uh, 
Ah, no one knew. Uh, but she's gonna leave the faction. Uh, she's at zero points, so she's probably gonna come back to us. That's fine. Hmm, Cordial's pretty good. 10% commerce. Anyone I can trust? I mean, I can trust her, I guess. And Cordial's good. The skill tree is not bad either. Um, just not sure if I want another strategist. Double strategist in his army feels a little bit overkill. I can also probably pull out Mao Zedong, but he's he's defending the capital. I believe the Eagle, I think. So it's not that great. Um, guess she's not doing anything. Oh, Danielle's not doing anything. Yeah, we'll use him. He's level six. want him to have these. Let's see, nobody has an army there. What happened to the one in the river? They landed. Okay. I mean, if they take, we retake. That's the logic here. Why is he not leading? Level 9? Shouldn't have a problem. I, I don't expect a problem. Did they come to defend? Or are they... Oh, they do have a couple armies here. Hold on. We can obviously night battle that, but... I mean, we have... We have night battle in this army? No, we don't. Okay, that might be an interesting situation. I don't think I care about them. I want to kill them. The spying situation was a little bit unexpected. You know, you would think they would just suicide, but apparently they know they have a spy and they don't want to suicide. He's still alive? Okay. More chase. I think they stayed on the road. Alright. I mean, I could take these while they're not defended. And then they can come back and take Dome later. That's really nothing. Ah, uh, let's take it a step at a time. Yeah, these are just a matter of time. We'll just take whatever's available to us right now. Technically, everything's available, but, you know, the easy stuff first. Savior of the nation. Oh, you still saving. Saving babies. Alright, I hope this is a free delegate, because I don't really want to fight the siege. Okay, good. It's only a garrison, but it's level 9, so you would think the towers might hurt and all that. Elephant, poor thing. Oh, Liu Bei's tax collector, level 5. Okay, incredible. Um, this is garbage. This I'll keep. I'll upgrade this. I want to build the state workshop. Um, so I'm probably gonna actually let me keep that for the discount, right? Ten percent. 
15%, 10%. That's that's quite a bit of discount for when we need to build our state workshop. So we'll put the state workshop here, then we'll get rid of this. Uh, large region. I mean, we'll keep it. There's no point to downgrade it at this point, you know. That's extra work. Wait, I think their army disappeared again. They ambushing us? Oh? Ah, they are ambushing us. I mean, we could have fought it, but I could also send some help first. I mean, we have four armies in the neighborhood, might as well. Move them in first. Now, goodbye. You're gonna fall down too, right? No? Ben seat or release? Or just release. No, he's still gonna be alive. Maybe we can catch him. Speed. Oh, he needs help. Our son. Level so low. Oh, we can still move. Nice. So now no army behind my lines. Everyone can start flooding west toward Chang'an. Meanwhile, our other western forces is gonna cross. Ooh! Like to keep him. Maybe we can get one more of his brother and get the bonus. We got the middle brother. The only one without art. Probably the worst one to get, I know, but... Oh, we have the mom as well. So that's good. Oh? Ling. Okay, we got ourselves a proper fight here, I guess. Alrighty, it's not raining, so they're doomed. Um, I don't know if they will charge out or not. Let's assume they do. We'll start here. And surprisingly, Drugodown doesn't... Alright, it's not night battles. So no one has fire arrows. Uh, we're also pretty depleted, but we have a... Maybe we just front line it up like normal people. Jump down with the only special arrow type here. We'll just provide boost. She's right here. If they want to duel us, we will take it. Boost. Bombs away. I actually don't think it increases their attack. Right, it doesn't. But it will boost their attack. 77 now. It will time out, but uh, by the time we go up and fight again, we can boost again. Yeah, it's actually kind of insane what the attack is. First, get rid of both towers. Did we? No, we didn't. And then we're probably gonna move up a little. There we go. Especially since they're not charging out. Watch them start charging out the second we move up. That'll be a smart AI play. I mean, they do that sometime. They actually do decide all of a sudden that maybe charging out is better. But in this case, I think we're fine. I mean, the worst scenario for us would be just like they charge out, we lose our tribuches. But even in that situation, you know, it's not that bad. <gasps> okay, you guys wait. You guys wait. Do you I want to fight you. Li as well. Oh, I mean, we can we can still fire when when, when that fighting's going on, but all right, time to take out his melee evasion. He has really good armor. But Delphi's weapon has okay attack. I mean, it's mainly on base. That's that's the trend with the brothers' weapons. But 
It's okay. I think we'll be able to kill him regardless. He just doesn't have a good enough weapon for the attacks. We'll be back for the finishing move. Hopefully I won't be missing it. Hopefully it's not that fast. Although the spear executions are just not that pretty. A lot of just chokes, stabs. The swords ones are really, really cool. I'm gonna halt a little bit. Can't really see where I'm aiming. Nah, swipe and chop. Like, that's more of a glaive finisher, right, if you think about it? That's not really a spear finisher. Go next. Oh, the oil got hit. Okay. This will also take a little bit of time. more shots. All the cavalry are uh, 250 range, so we should be very oppressive in terms of that type of damage when that time comes. They also have Azor Dragons. I think they're 53% armor. Well, that's actually pretty high. The most of our melee base would be blocked. Oh, he, he died! That was a little fast. She used the increased melee evasion, and then we're gonna slap the decreased melee evasion, which is probably gonna miss. Yeah, probably missed her. Yeah. We should have used it before she used it. That would we neutralize a little bit. This just means it'll take longer for the fight. Doesn't mean it's gonna be harder. Alright, move up. Oh? What is this? They're charging. Are they actually charging? Front line. Yes, they are actually charging. Alright, but we're gonna pick her up on the cooldown. Alright. Our cavalry archer should be able to pin them down a little bit. Let's get in front of it. Just be the one to get charged, not them. That's fine. That's okay, you guys can charge us. Oh, the friendly fire is what's gonna hurt. Ah, we can see the body and kind of guess how she died. Not missing any limbs, so it's probably either a choke out or a stab in the gut. animation. <laughs> Palm strike. Uh, Jaffa, get back on your horse. Too bad we don't have the roar. Wait, we didn't get we didn't get back on our horse? Fine. The amount of splash damage. It's over. Yeah. 
Yeah, this army should be featured a bit more. Zhang Fei, Zheng Jiang plus Zhuge Liang. Alrighty. Let's see if we capture Ziling, actually. There's a chance. Yes. Here, come join us. Yeah, come join us. Take a member of the Zhongzhuo family. Okay, four armies are going to follow them. I think the key target is maybe the horse pasture in the north. And then maybe our starting commandery, Yu Beiping. Also, since personally I'm from Beijing, it would be kind of a homecoming for us. Um, they can go in the city and heal. It wouldn't mess with mustering because it's pretty much the choice of garrisoning or not. It looks like they actually have quite a bit of movement, so... Almost, yeah, almost kind of thinking about tanking this mustering and just picking this up. I don't know if they have any more units nearby. This is also a mess that we have to take care of. Like, I'm thinking we fight a weaker army to make the stronger army come in as a reinforcement. And then we obviously drag them in, I think, as well. I'm not sure if they'll actually come in. Maybe they lock the garrison. I'm not sure how this reinforcement will work. It's actually kind of messy. Right, so in this case, even though Kingdom of Shuhan is willing to help the garrison because we have them under siege, they can't come out and save them, and vice versa, our other army can't come out and save them. So I could... Wait, how could I do night battle? Bandit skill tree. Right, because he didn't have it. There's no fire on these guys. So the bandit skill tree gives us night battle from one of the things. Although this is extremely easy then. I mean, still, tough units. Oh. Okay, let's be real. Um, let's try to catch Zhang Zhao. It's not tough. It, it's pretty easy. But let, let's fight this. Alrighty. So. We could get a little cheeky with them with two different directions. Just takes a little bit more microing. They have two strategies, so there's no dueling. Like, I could literally stand here and just roar them. That's probably the best strategy I can use him for. Well, the quality of our units, though, outstanding. Look at all these. They're all White Horse fellas. Everyone's invisible because it's foggy. Um, it's not that great actually. I prefer it wasn't foggy because you know we're expected to shoot arrows into them. I'm gonna dive for these guys. Doesn't matter if I lose health. That's kind of my job. Off a little. Cool. Yeah, join the fun. Top of the other one. Yeah, each of them will get one of the Defender of Earth, and then we're good. The rest will just pick off with our cavalry. There's no chance their infantry will ever touch us. Oh, unless I miss micro. That, that's always a possibility. Um, <laughs> assuming that doesn't happen, though. I mean, the safest thing to do is have them charge this, too. Stay on them, stay on them. Don't get lazy. Oh, fire arrows, fancy. You think you can charge us? Saber militia is stuck in the river. And out. Yeah, 
Yeah, immediately wipe that unit off the map. Wipe you guys off the map too. Stay on that. Come over here and roar. These will just kite. We don't want to fight them. We just want to kite them. You can roar on them though. The generals can get out now. Their job's done. You guys come over here. Finish the encirclement. Stuck in the lake, trudging in water, getting picked off by thousands of arrows. Alright, use six, finish that one. Pull back. They're sturdy. They got 58% armor right there, just hard to touch them, but we'll do what we can. With enough arrows, we will finish them. Oh, running out of arrows in some areas, but we'll finish this one off. There's no way they're still braced. So close. Everybody charge, and then this one should route to army loss. Yep. We're done. Not so hard at all. Alrighty, so I thought this battle here around Dome might have been messy, but uh, turned out to be pretty easy with two night battles. So that army's down. We didn't capture Zhanghong. The other one's on the run, but I think we can still drag them in with this. Right, so crushing defeat. But... If we night battle... Post victory. Alright, I'm gonna do this. It'd be a little less messy. Like, it'd be quicker because I don't have to actually fight it. And that army should still have movement. Oh, they backed off again? They backed off again. Oh, never mind. They're screwed. And then we garrison reinforce them. Pyrrhic victory. I'm gonna take it. It's okay. We have a few turns to heal as we move towards Coron Land, and we're not really the army responsible for taking that area either. We had time to heal because I have army nearby as well. We just have so many more. Oh, he was a he was a spy, or um, he was available as a spy, I believe. Or we captured him a couple times, and he was willing to spy for us a little while. We'll take him this time. Silver weapon as well. Do I still have movement? No. But we get to track him for a little bit, and that'll be our healing time, essentially. Because um, if you look over here, we got one, two, making a move on the rest. So there's no rush, and then there's a third one incoming, so there's no rush for them to get there. And then all of them would have to, like, flip up. Yeah, and there's also this one here. Now they do like to land, don't they? And the second we show up, they start running again. Seems like this one's up for grabs. No one's gonna stop us here. 
Be our good landing spot here. That stage one of our northwestern conquest. And then we're just gonna go north. We're just gonna keep going. Is he not gonna level up to six? Yeah, he's probably not gonna level up to six before the campaign ends. They're still healing. It's okay. It's just one or two more turns. It's fine. Like there's no rush. Li Ru got summoned back by us, so that's fine. Oh, we finally caught them. John L. Capture maybe. Can't extract. John L. Capture. Maybe? I mean, it's very decisive. And it's zero percent. We can't improve that. So. Two items. Okay, Overseer is nice. So they, they, they lose movement now, don't they? Because Overseer. Right, so she's going to ditch this turn, so it's just going to be John L here. Poor guy. Alright, they're still waiting for one more turn of healing. Or... Right, like, we don't know if there's anything. I'm going to believe there's nothing. Might be a small overstep, but... Patience right now is not a virtue. It looks clean. Looks like there's no one around us. Um, hmm. Speed. We have one cavalry. It's a good one. It's a really good one. Fatigue immune. Also insane range. Also insane damage. I think it's even better than ours. Yeah, it's much faster fire rate and it's fatigue immune. And that's the best horse archer in the game. Less charge, because it's not a it's not like a level five unit. Like you gotta think about these are level five units. Oh, even these have good charge. Uh, they just have good charge. Not so good as charging here, but still. Really good in terms of the range components. And the melee component, the glaive. 35, 15, 20. This looks like a sword, right? So 32 attack speed feels like a sword. 23, 8. So sword also don't get anti-cavalry. Yeah, it's it's just, I think it's a better unit. I think the town version is just better. Um, right, I think that's every army we have right now. That's like 19 army. We can make it a 20. Uh, we picked up Ziling, right? So... Next turn, maybe. Uh, we have a burn officer on the on the on the on assignment. Oh no! Wasting talent here. Didn't know she had burnt. Hmm. We're gonna build patiently. No need to rush. That's going away. That's going to get converted. That's going away. Uh, that's going away. Small regional. I mean, I'll keep it until I get these fully upgraded. Then it's downgrade time. I'm not going to use that. I don't want this. I think if we're going to keep something high tier, it's probably going to be... Uh, we don't have to reform for Forge, so maybe it's just going to be a regular conscription building. I don't need food, so I guess, yeah, I, I think we'll just get conscription here. Yeah, it would be like this. Slightly different, because we don't need that, because we have a harbor. Alright, we'll get a conscription going here as well. Ran out of money, but that's very normal here. 
All right, I think we're good. Um, making headway at both fronts. Let's continue. And every single turn does not fail. Kingdom of Shuhan is here to say, please take our Emperor seats. Now 12.2. What about the... I can't check other factions, but what's the peace deal? 24.6? Okay. Reject. Oh. Oh. Well, um... It's the army we beat. And because we delegated the siege, we're weaker. So we can't delegate them. Again, we just retreat. If they force us to fight, we can beat them. It's not an issue. Uh, but they didn't force us, so we're fine. Oh, another granddaughter. Our spy has been... Oh, wait, we sent her out? We'll promote loyalty... I thought she'd just get flipped back as a spy, it's not being sent out, but apparently she's being sent out. Which is slightly different. Yeah, the other girl left the faction, so there's no minus 10. Cao on this here. I mean, he had to find a new home after we wiped out his former faction, so... Kind of makes sense. Okay, nobody... I don't want to disown her, I want her to come back. She has my units and she has... Um... I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't get a job, then that's fine. When she comes back, just gotta be patient with her. I mean, you're gambling, no one's here. Which is probably true. I think all their forces be thrown at us, leaving you know, the home front actually quite empty. Alright, we'll take a pass. Alright, we'll have them come reinforce. We're gonna go take the path next. Yeah. Should we get into the water this turn? I could even march onto the land. Yeah, that's probably better. Guarantee that we have that reach. Um. I'm gonna send them. This is the Burren officers. Send them to back them up. I think, yeah, this is the Burren officer group. Yeah. Back up the main army to taking the Emperor seat. Wang Quan's. Oh, Matias faction. Well, it's Wang Quan's former faction, but it's Matias faction now. Actually peeking out with a small army. Can I not land? There we go. Just so they feel us. I mean, they don't have siege weapon. They can't even take that. It's not afraid there. We'll lead the main assault on their capital. No one's home. They had their forces out front. They don't even have the administrator here. Awkward large city. Put it down to a city. Now, I'm Ping, that's a capital. Uh, oh, Ping Yuan's also very high level. Nobody there. Alright, we'll give them some time. Ooh, level 6. Like to see that. Get these two units replaced. Alright, they appear behind us. They're gonna run. And then they're gonna get wiped. Oh, 
我军智略，胜敌军一筹。看押他们，只能消耗我军辎重。谨遵命令。We're resting up. I know. I mean, I know Koron has armies. Maybe do they? <laughs> Actually, I kind of question that now. Do they still have armies? I'm gonna take the coastal route just to cut off any potential army sailing down. That's something that's very annoying. Are you close? Yeah, you're not close. So I'm gonna give him units because I feel like it's kind of thin. This army is kind of low on number of units here. They're selling back. <laughs> I knew it. They're like, no, we don't want to mess with them. We'll just hover them. Make sure they don't go anywhere crazy. I mean, I could summon someone just delegate this, I guess. And then maybe our spy will come back to us, actually. Um, yeah, sure. Probably a good chance to get rid of her retinues. Alright, faction destroy time. Unless he survives this somehow, which is also possible. Does he have space to retreat? Yes, he does. And yeah, we have space to pursue. Time for your faction to... Enter the history books. Give me shiny armor. Oh, is that a gold armor? Thank you. Our spy is coming back to us. Good. So she's no longer a spy. Uh, Gunning leveled up. Oh. Yeah, but I think he's still going to be commanding. So maybe I'll get Roar instead. They can go rest in Sapi. Alright, landing in the north, pushing over here, pushing over here. Oh, we caught them. I mean, I feel like they just given up here. There's nowhere to, to retreat. They're on the coast. You should get wiped. Extract. Come back to us. So close to firebomb. One more level. I can't reach them. Um, it's quicker if we hop into the water and try to land here. Right. I think we clean up whatever's behind us first. There's no rush. Everyone's kind of resting. Yeah, they have a few stacks around. Oh, great. Um, well, that's where Roxy summons come in handy. Uh, 
I can reach, right? Yes. Yu Bei Ping's administrator, execute. Han Zhi He Dang Luo De Zi Xia Chang. Shi Sun Min, energetic. Yeah, we'll take her. We need such a fierce war lord. Although the people of this country are not very many, there will always be someone. Fight! Fight! Okay. Can't catch them. I could also proxy summon again. But I'm okay to let them run around. Because like this army doesn't have can't go anywhere, gonna recall them and all that stuff, so they're probably gonna be out of commission for a little bit. Like regardless of what we do here. We do want to summon that extra army we have, the, the Burren Officer. That's a waste. Oh man, these are all so bad. Um, maybe keep the school, because this entire place is going to be utility buildings. I'll keep that for now. Uh, so it's mostly mostly peasantry here actually. It's also utility. Okay, I have 153 left. I don't think we missed out on any turncoats. There is none, so we're good. Let's continue here. Oh, we have a death. Lady Liu, oh, she's passing away. I mean, she served us really well, I um, have to say that. I could pass on these excellent units to someone like Ziling, for example. Instead of waiting for him to get level 6, he gets come out of the field a little faster. He doesn't like any of them, though. That's not good. Uh, what about Yuan Xi? Take over for the mom. Lose one good unit. He's also level 6 himself, so I don't have to... Ah, Dong Li. Well, that... Don't draw his daughter, get a little bit of shine, I guess. Or granddaughter, don't leave. 65. Book of Mountain and Sea. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Ooh, a treasure. <laughs> Classic field PLT. Okay, so yeah, he's he's just not gonna hit six. Um, we're gonna go take this, and then it's just a couple counties, you know, away from 
getting to the Emperor Seat, which is not heavily defended. It's level 6, is not that strong. We also have a main force sweeping through from Chang'an, which is going to be slower, of course, but they're coming, uh, symbolically. We're also landing on the north coast here. Uh, we're just everywhere except for the west. We just they basically decided the west was not worth our time, so we didn't approach that at all. We kept two armies here in reserve. We also have one more army chasing around back here. We have one army spying their activities over here as well. They're on march. That's a mistake. Hold on, do we punish? We can punish that right now, can't we? Um, there's not much armor piercing on those units. Can I catch them? No, but I can get really close to them, I guess. I mean, that's fine. They don't have real target. I guess I need to find another save point. Nobody uh, has an army there. No rush. They downgraded it. It was level 9, I think. They ran this way. We'll let them hang out here. I still can't reach. After you land, there's like this minus 20% movement debuff. I don't think they have anyone here. No, they don't. I can hit any of these three, but I feel like I'm going to get retaliated the second I do so. Alright, we'll take this and use this as our save point. Oh, that's not going to get saved, so let's not do that. Uh, but this is where things stand. We have created a pretty big beachhead in the north, actually. I thought it was going to be just a basic one, but we ended up taking, what, five counties already? We have two more armies over here, expanding out in the western part of the north, or technically the central part. And then we have this army cutting through, just quickly through, trying to get to the capital seat. And I think next episode is going to be the end. And uh, we're going to be done with this, this total war. We're going to have enough counties for the win. We're going to have both emperor seats. I don't think we're at 95 yet. Oh no, we're exactly at 95. So we're perfect. We're just missing this and this. And honestly, they're ready to give up. Yeah, they're going to both give up pretty much uh, at this point. But uh, we'll play it out. We won't take any abdicates. We'll just push through and uh, finish this thing next time. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and see you guys then. Bye.